So this is my first video out of a series of different uh, modeling videos I'll be creating. I'll just be going over how to model simple assets to show you some of the tools inside Maya and uh, how to go about doing some of these things. I apologize ahead of time if there's a lot of background sound. That would be because my window is open. It is way too hot in my apartment for me to keep them closed at this current point. So, <clears throat> right now I'm just going to model my Wacom pen that I have in front of me. It's the Wacom Intuos 4. It's just the uh, pen that comes with it. I'll be using polygons. I'm not really a big fan of NURBS. I don't really use that much anymore other than uh, probably PDI DreamWorks, but, other, but the idea is it's pretty easy to deal with polygons. Here we go. Here's a... At this current point, I'm not going to care too much about polygon count. Uh, let's see... Just something easy to deal with. Sixteen, and that looks fine. Enough polygons to get the shape. I'm surprised at ninety now. I'm gonna stretch this roughly as long as what my pen looks like. So here's a very neat trick. Let's say I want to scale out this way on the side and downwards. But at the same time I wanna I do not want to stretch this any further. If you hold control and click on the side that you don't want scaling and drag it, you can scale the rest of the sizes. For example, just those or just this side. So here's an example of just how to easily just scale just specifically what section you want. I'm just eyeing this, so I um, can't tell you if this looks exactly the right scale or not. It seems like the back end tapers down slightly. So I'm going to go to my vertex mode. Scale that down slightly. Easy shortcut for that is F9. And I'll just make the back end of this uh, pen. I'm going to click on the extrude tool. I'm going to extrude this slightly because there's a slight bevel in the actual pen. So I'm going to give it that bevel. Oh, it seems like uh, I have keep faces together turned off. Let's turn this on. Undo twice. That way, when I extrude, everything's proper. Very slight, subtle bevel at the back of this. With that, I'm going to hit G to repeat the extrusion from the center. Extrude down to roughly where the uh, pen is. A little nib in the back of the eraser. To make this very realistic, I prefer extrude this back in slightly. And down, scale in slightly, actually extrude again, scale in slightly, extrude again, pull forward. These are basically just parts inside each other. So here's the back part of the racer. What happens is at the end over here, it's going to round out and cap off. So I'll show you different ways to do this. Uh, one way, is simply just keep extruding on the side, like so. And slowly scale down. Extrude. Scale down. Forward again. Scale down. Some people don't like this method because it might not be exactly perfect. So another method would be to make a sphere. With the same amount of axes. Rotating this. Then placing this cap on essentially. Scaling this down. 
deleting half of it and attaching it. But for this case, I'm a bit lazy and don't care too much about that. I'm going to go in here and get some more of the detail that I missed out the first time. The idea is I'm trying to model this for smoothing. So I press 3, I'll see a smooth preview, and I don't really see all the cool trimming that I want. So I'm going to go to Insert Edge Loop and tighten some of these lines. If it doesn't uh, get them out of me. Actually, Insert Edge Loop, not Slide Edge. This will keep these shapes much tighter. This, of course, is for high poly modeling. But I think in the beginning, it's important to learn how to understand the shape very well, be able to analyze all the details out of any object. So I'm double click on this edge. I'm going to move it in just like that. Then we go in and insert more edge loops in between. So now when I press 3 to smooth, I can see the nice cut inside. This nice beautiful bevel. I have uh, this little nib coming out just like the wake up pattern. Now let's get the rest of it. Pull this back slightly. Grab the faces. Extrude forward. And this time it's going to scale up. Just like that. Scale forward now. Roughly around here. Scale down. This gets a bit smaller. Extrude forward. Extrude forward again. scale down extrude again 